Hi guys, this is Daniel from FND. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create fire effect using Kim. So let's get started. First, open your Kim and drag and drop your image inside the Kim. Now we need to remove the background from our image. So I'm going to use the path tool to draw the path around our subject. and right click go to select and from path to make the selection from path and click on the move tool to discard the nodes now go to edit and copy and again go to edit and paste then click on this new layer icon to paste it as new layer now right click on the pasted layer and click on layer to image size this will make a pasted layer to image size now drag and drop the background image I'm going to choose this image and scale to fit inside the canvas. Move the background layer below the pasted layer. Then I'm going to grab the path tool and draw the path around the hand portion of this person. And press Shift plus V to select from path. Then press Ctrl plus C to copy and Ctrl plus V to paste and click on the new layer icon to paste this new layer. This will create your separate layer for the hand. Now right click on the hand layer and click on layer to image size. This will make the hand layer to image size. Now I'm going to remove the pimples and blemishes from the face. So I'm going to use the healing tool and select the clear skin area and remove the blemishes and pimple area. Now I am bringing the layers so that I can easily understand the layers. Now drag and drop the rock texture inside the canvas. The link is in the description for this rock texture. And you can also create rock texture from scratch using GIMP. I already posted a video about that. That video link is also in the description. Go and check it out. I am going to place this rock texture over the hand area and add layer mask with white full opacity and select the hand layer and right click and click on alpha to selection. This will select the hand region and click on the layer mask of the rocks texture and go to select and invert the selection and, and grab the bucket fill tool with the black color selector. Click on the layer mask. Now you can see the rock texture is applied only on the hand region. Now go to select and none to deselect everything now click on hand layer and duplicate it and i'm going to change this to hand black and white move this layer to the top and go to colors hue and saturation and reduce the saturation to minus 100 so that it will become black and white now change the mode of this layer to overlay so that the rock texture is applied to our hand now go to colors and adjust the levels like this so that it, it gives some contrast to the rock texture. Now again go to colors, curves and I'm going to increase the brightness of the rock texture. Now we are going to drag and drop the crack layer inside the canvas. The link is in the description for this image too. 
Now go to colors and invert. This will make the cracks as white and remaining region as black. So we are going to make this black as pitch black. So I'm going to colors and curves and bring it down the curves like this so that it becomes dark black like this one and I'm going to scale it down and place it over the hand region. And I'm going to duplicate this crack layer again, rotate it if you want to and place it over the hand region and again I'm going to duplicate it, scale it down and place it over the hand region and click on transform. Now I'm going to merge these three crack layers and rename it as cracks. Now change the mode to screen. Now we are going to make the cracks only appear on the hand region so that I'm going to add layer mask. Now we are going to copy and paste the rock textures lay mask so that the cracks only appear on the hand region. So I copied and paste. Now click on the floating layer icon. Now we can see the cracks only appear on the hand region. Now go to colors and click on colorize. Change the color to the red color. So that the cracks will appear on the red color. And again duplicate the cracks region and go to colors and colorize and change the color to orange and click on OK. Now select the brush tool with the black color selector. I'm going to brush it towards some part of the hand like this. Now select the rock textures lay mask. Select the brush tool with the black color as a foreground color and brush it on the edge like this to erase some part of the hand region also erase it on the hand black and white region and also on the cracks layer so this will appear as the fire effect it starts to uh, spread from hand to the body Now we are going to add some fires. So I'm gonna drag and drop this fire inside the game. You can find this fire image links in the description. These are the free images. You can download it from the website called Unsplash. So go and download it. And select any fire image and drop inside the game. And move it to the top layer and scale it down. in the blend mode to screen so this will remove the black portion of this layer or you can also use light and only screen and light and only will remove the black portion from the image now again i'm gonna drag and drop another fire image inside the game and i'm gonna scale it down and position it You can also rotate it and position it on the hand region and change the mode to screen or light and only. And again, I'm gonna drag and drop another fire image. Do the same process as I did before. Now I'm going to go
go to colors levels and adjust the levels and I'm gonna also do it for another two fire images scale rotate and position the fire images until you are satisfied you can also place any of the fire images behind the hand so that it looks like the fire is coming behind the hand and also i'm gonna add some other fire images doing the same process as i did before Also add some sparks. Scaling it down. Changing the blend mode to screen and adding some curves effect to change its color. And I'm gonna move this layer below the subject layer and I'm going to add another transparent layer now this time we are going to create the glow from the fire so I'm gonna click on the color picker and select the color from the fire and select the add brush tool and brush it like this now I'm going to select another color from the image which, which is the darker one and brush it over the image like this change the blend mode to color and change the opacity to 42 and I'm gonna brush it over like this to give some glow from fire I'm not satisfied with the background so I'm gonna change the another background still the fire image doesn't have the pitch black so I'm gonna add some curves effect to make it make the black much blacker so that the screen mode will remove the blacks completely now I'm adjusting the sky background Now I am adding curves effect to the sky background. Still I am not satisfied with the fire effect so I am gonna remove some fire images and add a different fire. Doing the same process as I did before. Rotate the fire, scale it down and change the mode to screen. Now I am adding the blur to the background image. Go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and add a blur. Now select the top layer and go to layers, new from visible. This will create the new layer from the visible one. Now we are going to add a LUT so that the background and the foreground doesn't look different. To add a LUT, you need a plugin called Jimmy plugin. I already posted a video about that. Go and check it out and install that plugin so go to filters and click on this jimmy plugin and go to the color preset in the category there are many different category each category has different preset so i'm going to choose the 
create new category and in that category I am going to choose teal and orange to preserve. So I am going to change the strength to something like 80 and increase the brightness slightly and also increase the contrast and I am going to increase the saturation a little bit and click on OK. Uh, I am also adding some blurriness to the edges of the person so I am going to choose the blur tool and draw over the edges. So that's it guys this is the way you can create fire effect in game. So thanks for watching if you like this video give thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more future tutorials also press the bell icon so that you can get quick notification when I upload a video. Thanks for watching. Bye.